Hi everyone! This is the continuation of my UMAX playthrough of Pagodia. Today's entry is map 3, Triple Impact. It was made as a collaborative effort of Bobby, Eggboy and The Mystic. Ok, I have no idea how am I supposed to get this soul sphere, but I do a line depth skip. Maybe someone will tell me eventually, but... Uh... Anyway, I like to rush for the sub shotgun at the start. Uh, you need to go where the free shit sign leads you to. Here it is. And Hachwal must have spawned, so I'm looking for him, but he's hiding. Here he is. Now that we have super shotgun, uh, let's kill everything here. Pressing this switch opens a passage to the underground area. This map slowly opens up as you progress, uh, and I like that a lot. In the end you find out that everything was actually interconnected and the final area is where the start was. But we'll get there. Try not to take too much hitscan damage, as uh, you have no armor yet. Now you need to drop down and go to the caves. This map has a very cool verticality. You constantly go up and down. That's really neat. There is a Revenant to my left, but a Chain Gunner and a Pain Elemental to the right are higher priority targets now. Also, Emma can be a bit scarce during this section, so don't waste it. Uh, but you'll get uh, plenty of shells and rockets before the next big fight. Uh, also, I like to try to get Revenant on the right in fight with a Mancubus. Here we finally get some armor. Now we drop down once again and get a rocket launcher. And you can make revenants and green cyber in fight, but I find it easier to just kill everything myself here.
Okay, now let's clear out chain guns and restock on Emma before we proceed, uh, as the next fight is actually the hardest in this map. By the way, this inaccessible cave area where the rocket boxes are is really beautiful. Uh, can't see much of it in this demo, so I'll put it on a video thumbnail. Okay, now the big fight. Grabbing yellow key releases an Archwell and Revenants in this building, but also Revenants and the Green Cyber behind you. I like to damage the Archwell uh, with as many rockets as I can and then run outside. Ideally, you want to lure Revenants to one side so you are not surrounded and can get space while you rocket them down. And I also try to shoot an Archwell whenever I get an opportunity to do so. One Revenant left alive behind me, so sub shotgun in the cyber was uh, a bit awkward. Now when you run here the lift is lowered but also the containers behind you lower and on the top of it where the chain gunner was there is a teleporter for a secret berserk. Now we have a yellow key and can proceed. In this area I like to run past everything and get behind this mancubus. From here you are in good position to shoot rockets and also chain gunners can get you. And after I run out of rockets, I go back and finish off the remaining enemies. I keep hearing imps, so I get a bit paranoid that I missed some here, but uh, those are probably the imps from the next fight. When you press the next switch, Archwell spawns on the top of the platform and lots of imps behind you. You want to kill the archer uh, as quick as you can. And the rest won't be a problem. Also, I tried so hard to dodge that homing missile that I face rocketed myself. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'm alive, so it's recoverable. Let's restock and go to the final area.
and this switch spawns an archwild behind you, but uh, you can run past him and he won't be a problem. And the uh, part of that passageway is actually the starting area that has lower down. So the caves are to our left. Deal with this lone archie and get ready for the final fight. For this fight, once again, I find it easier to just run past everything and then just spam rockets. You won't have 20 to 30 rockets in stock when you get there and the fight won't be any problem. And what's left now is just to kill the remaining 5 enemies. Actually, I should have left some rockets for them, but uh, whatever. Now you get the blue key and it allows you to exit. Uh, I got lost a bit here looking for, an, for the exit door. Here it is. And the exit area really stands out. Uh, there is an invisible bridge and a doggo with a katana who I'm pretty sure has nothing personal against you. Awesome map, uh, definitely harder than the previous two, uh, with a good mix of arena combat and incidental combat, and generally very fun fights. The map progression is linear, but still it's very cool when its actual interconnectedness is revealed. I also like the visual contrast between outdoors and cave areas and how the verticality is handled. Uh, this makes the map very memorable. So, hope you enjoyed. And see you in map 4.